Wait, does it say video log 5 day 1? Yes. Yes it does. And hi, I'm JD. And today, Zach is taking me all the way to Illinois. Now Zach, Rick, and I have a lot we want to do. And in this one trip, we're going to be doing so much that I have to separate it by day. Day 1 will be Zach and I's drive to Illinois, along with a little bit of photography for Rick, rummaging around through dead people's pictures and some candid camera conversations about the company. In day two, we travel around and see the beautiful sights of Illinois, including a car show, the Vrooman Mansion, Route 66, Frankenstein, and some audio signs. Day three, we go to the mansion. This is where we do our important preservation work. Rick cleans plates while I go outside and take pictures of a mansion that's falling apart. On day four, we visit the big city of Chicago. We find a new camera, we change our religion, and I finally get feet in my mouth. And it all comes crashing down on day five, where I go back inside this falling apart mansion and take pictures of the entire interior, or at least as much as I can. But before you see most of that, we got to rewind the tape all the way back to day So, I packed all my stuff up. Damn it, Zach. Why are you so fucking early? I said nine o'clock, and not fucking, fucking, fucking eight thirty, dude. You fucking asshole. I hate you. You're a piece of shit. You heard me. You're a short bitch. <laughs> um, I lost my uh, my clothing bag, so I put all my clothes in this tripod bag that I stole from high school. No, 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 I got shit to show you. Film transfer reels, V1K Sony high definition brand master tape recordings. Uh, I see a, and then while he's sending this to me, he's just saying, "Yeah, he's like, I definitely can donate some, but there are some that I have um, collected and just curious to do something with them." And then he sends me just a pile of film reels that he said that he has, and this is the title he gives it. I think it's stuff from OSU in, in the 1950s. So if that's OSU, that's Ohio State University. Yeah. Um, I have played some on this, but my ball burnt out. Oh my god, the dude has just a shot. Okay, hold on, fucking Christ. This guy, he just, just keeps sending me shit. He has a whole... Um, he has a whole box full of camera lenses. <laughs> Uh, he has a whole box filled with like just unrolled 35 millimeter movie projector film. Like, oh my god, I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna scan everything of his, uh, and I don't know because I don't want it to just be a um. We'll, we'll show him the most interesting stuff, but I don't want to give him everything because we're not we're not we're not digitizing for free over here. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on. Let me let me let me text this this one thing. We're gonna go into the antique store now. All right, guys, have fun. I'm gonna keep. He, oh my God, this guy has just books upon. So we're at the antique store for today. 
picking up some prints, saying hi to uh, our favorite camera, uh, and then uh, maybe flip off a few employees, we'll see. Here's the baby. So this is an original Victrola phonograph. This needle will come down here. This lever is to start the spinning. And you can use this to slow it down or speed it up. And it's only $195. Oh boy. They dropped the price further. Shit. But uh it was um two hundred dollars. Uh it was like it was okay, so when I first saw it, it was like two hundred seventy. Yeah, no, it was like two hundred I think base. When I first saw it with sugar. Oh yeah. And then second time it was closer to just 200 and now it's 190. Oof, yeah they have been dropped the price then. So I'm gonna put in an offer for 150. <laughs> uh, whenever whenever I get money again. This is that's probably gonna be the first thing I buy. I know we can throw all these into there it's 30 bucks. And am I scanning all this, or are you scanning all of it? Um, I can scan all of it. You got a scanner? Oh, no, 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 I thought you meant like the negatives and all that. There's negatives in there. Yeah, I got a 35 scanner. But what about the prints? Uh, prints, we can just do the simple way and use Canon. Yeah, who's doing that? That's what I was asking. Oh, me. Like I said, yeah. Okay, Jesus Christ. This has been the thing I've been looking for for the longest time. It's not just a piano, but it's a self-playing piano. And I really need to get a self-playing piano because the mansion we're going to is a bunch of these sheets that haven't been played for many decades. There's the car. Aw, he's still learning. What's shaking, Bacon? I don't We're know. We're in Lakin. <laughs> it's good. How uh, are you guys? Are you guys coming up on the. Uh, did you guys just get in? What's a bouse, Mouse? We're in front of your house. Oh my god, really? I'm just, hold on. I didn't even know. Hold on, give me some help. Are you gonna do the this one's open to Rick? You should yeah. do the you should do the this one's open. Oh shit. 
th this one's open. This this one's open. Hey, th this one's open. Hey, th this that one's that this one's open. open. Yeah, th yeah this, this one, one this one's open. This one's open. <laughs> Just getting a fucking phone call. This one's open? Yeah, this one's open. Oh, is that the... Wait a second. Is that the tooth... 2005 Dukes of Hazard movie soundtrack on CD? Oh, this one's open. Oh yeah, this one's open. Oh yeah, th this one's open. We said this one. Hey, so what are we doing uh, since nobody was recording? What are we doing since nobody was recording? Well, right now we're basically just taking all of my cameras that I've had um, and setting them up outside to take a picture of me with all of them. So we cleared out all the stuff up here. That's all gone. Everything in here, not including the stuff at my dad's house, which is in two bags and all the shit out of that too. And now all that's outside, and now we're kind of just getting ready to take a picture of me with all of it, so. All right, lead the way. Hey, Walter. Hey, dude. <laughs> as far as boxes and shit I'm not exactly sure unless we dump out that box that we just got dump out the box yeah put that well at least take it out temporary and we throw it all back in these are all your cameras these are all my cameras uh, ranging from 1880s till about probably the 1970s all right quick quick tour uh, just say your prized possessions uh, my prized possessions are basically this guy here, this guy here, my dad, Polaroid, World War One, Leica, actually probably Brownie, my grandpa, this one here, of course, um, here, cord, Titanic, first antique, <sighs> it's a lot. And that's the, and every single camera here has a story and everything, it's too much to talk about in one, in one video. Oh God. These ones? No, the, the far left. Yep, that. Yep. So bring that bellowed Polaroid forward. The, the bellowed Polaroid under you. Oh. Yeah, bring it forward. So now that it's all done and over with and everything is, is no, beyond the point of going back. Now we have to go grab more. There's more. Yeah. There's... We were not uh, center with the garage. It's fine. It is what it is. Why, why are you touching it? Come home. Put it away. He told me to organize. Aww. Right on your pictures. Huh? So is this... Um, this is the, the good Graflex that I use, that I would use. It's the one that we can use. That's my dad's. Okay, because I'm basically going bigger to, to smaller on the massive bellows, and this might be up there with them. Unless you have an objection. 
Well, well as I'm long as you can fit it. For now. As long as you can fit it. And Justin. Do your job. Well, I didn't know if there was like a... Yeah. Fuck you! Give me a second. Uh, no! It's a hack. Let's have a look. Yeah, so... This is what we got. I'm trying to go for big to small on the older bellow. Okay. And then we got... These nice! Things. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I like this. I like this so far. Oh, this is the new one, huh? Look at that. Yeah, that's the new one. That's a nice one. That's looking nice, man. And then, for like some of the other like mumbled jumbled stuff like this kind of thing, you can just shove this in the back if you want. No. Just like that. I am actually not hot. I'm way too not used to this shit. No stacking, it should be just yeah, you can take a look at my, uh... <sighs> oh, your film is in my film bag, by the way. Okay, thank you. Mm, you can smell it. You can so just smell the film. Remind me to, at the end of the five days, if you haven't used it all, just remind me to give it to you. I'm finally open up this thing. No! It oh my it. god. Look at that. Is that all expired? Yeah, this is all expired shit. Why how bad? Had to be done. Justin, it had to be done. We have to shoot on this. Oh no, you don't know I'm smiling. Oh, I'm I just, don't know why then. I'm so happy right now. Are you? Okay. I'm just happy to be with my friends. Okay. Big bin there too. But the stuff, but the sheet film that we're gonna shoot on the other shit with isn't that. So. But do you? F I don't think it'll fit. Uh, I'm like, happy to be with better. you too, Justin. Yeah, I don't think it will. This is 5x7, you have 4x7. Ignore me, everything. Ignore everything I fucking say. Uh, fucking Remember, you have emulsion on one side, and then cellulose on, not cellulose, but uh, acetate on the other side. The other side, you can scratch, you can do whatever. Just just take, some you can take some um, You're so emotionally take unavailable. Some, say, take some tape, put it on the back. This is why women don't you. Basically, just tape it. Both of you, right on here. Okay. What? Oh, nothing. That's how you do it. Same shit about That's why I wanted a dark room. I was about to say the only bit of information that we have is what's written on the back and what's in those books. Yeah, this is yeah, what's written on the back. Well, I meant like, you know what the fuck. I do about. wanna, I do wanna, we'll have to scan some of these and start posting this shit on, on, on Twitter and everything, because like, people would love to see this. Like, this is like weird shit in Europe. Oh yeah, <laughs> trust me, yeah, there's literally just mount. This just has, no, oh, there we go. So we found this at the antique store? Yep, part of And what is it? Huh? What is this? What do you mean, what is it? Found what the footage? fuck is this? Found footage, like we said. We found prints. We have found negatives. A bunch of old pictures. Some being shit like this. That is probably, my guess, 80s. Portraits, Look at these. We got Those were portraits. Shots. That looks like 80s. We got <clears throat> old prints from like the fucking 18 somethings. Yeah, no, no, we do have 1800s. I mean, you just use this. Like we got this. Yeah, we have 1800. Look at the back though. Look. We got a lot of stuff. And Ironton, Ohio. Look at that. We have negatives, 35 negatives, more 35 negatives, even more 35. An old muscle car prints. For, for uh. Oh, that's mine. Oh, that's foreign. Oh, yeah, I don't know what this is about. The Partridge family. Susan Day and Laurie David Cassidy as Keith of two music fund makers in the Partridge family will have its thirds. Why would they take this out? Why would they? This is an advertisement. So how do you have this organized? Okay, uh, so all the large black and white pictures and cabinet cards are all in here. This entire pile is basically all of the package negatives and maybe the prints that went along with them. But the biggest work was separating all of the loose photos and kind of just going based on the general size of them and kind of their content. So we have like postcards, we have just specific things on Stonehenge. A very rudimentary uh, organization thing because it's way too much to do in one in one sitting. But at least we know 
what the content is and the size of it. And then, and then this is just larger pictures of like a school or something that we have to we have to figure out. So, newspaper. Oh, and I have no idea what it says. For the most part, there it seems to be two distinct different like family groups. The original, like the Ma and Pa, and also the Grandpa and Grandma. What was it? Yeah, was it this one I think there? it was this one. Yes. <clears throat> this was all from the original Ma and Pa. This is the offspring, which we think, at least from what I can put together, is a girl named Judy. The offspring. In worst case scenario, I could just flip it and post. Oh, I really wanted to say, but your phone doesn't have that. Justin. <laughs> What are we doing? Oh, hi. We're at the night. We're taking long exposures on the lowest ISO possible. Now, if you don't know what ISO is, or what long exposure is, Believe. that's okay. That's okay. We all learned somewhere. So, ISO is basically... Okay, um, Why if are we... you want... Why are we using the phone? 5.6. Uh, because we physically cannot get the seconds down on our stuff because ours doesn't have the ISO of 25. And is that what we're shooting on? Is 25? Basically, ISO. we don't have we don't have the equipment required to get do the, the mathematical goal equation to find out what we need to do to our cameras to get enough light. This app does though. Because because our film ISO is so low. <laughs> our film ISO is so low that. And, and we're, we're doing it in such low light that basically photography companies thought, oh, nobody will ever do this. Well, I'm doing it. We could do four for 32 seconds. By the way, we are in Lakin. Um, this is now come Lakin at 9.30 at night. I mean, it's a city. You're a city. Recording? Mm-hmm. Okay. So for 32 seconds, we're probably going to get an image. We'll see. All right. Three, two, one. Now I'm going to hold this down for 32 straight seconds. And that's because the camera only has a bulb setting and not a time setting. Yep. <laughs> the difference between bulb and time is time you press it and you can just let go and then wait until you know whenever you need to press it again to to close it to, to close the aperture and stop putting light on film uh but because it's bulb three two one because it's bulb i have to hold down onto it to hold the door open basically and once i let go that door slams shut and that was a picture. I was actually able to get that on 60. Oh shit, really? Yeah, because I have 800 in here. Oh, that's why. That makes sense. That makes sense! So we're still doing that stuff before, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Starting the sh sh picture in three, two, one. Yeah, since we're holding down the shutter for so long and waiting for the picture, um, anything that's moving, like those signs down there, and hell, even my hand across the image, Anything that's moving is just going to be such a faint blur that if it's like my hand, you're not even going to see it. Um, but those signs, since they're bright and they're constantly moving, it's just going to be a white blur. The screens are just going to look white. And the lights in the distance, um, you're going to be able to see all of them. Oh, wait, hold on. Always be safe and look both ways before crossing the road.
So there's a bridge over there. You can't see it because it's too dark. But open this baby up long enough and you'll see anything. Yep, and then secondly, I'm going to point her straight up at the sky and see if we can find ourselves some little aliens. You all know that Minota, if it ain't Minota, it's Minota. I can't see. So yeah, 30 seconds on 4 F stop, 25 ISO. Okay, so 3, 2, 1. So I'm going to explain a little bit here. I've been thrown into this. I don't know if I'm getting good shots. I don't know if it's in focus. I hope so. I got some advice that it's infinity, but holding this for 32 seconds, it's pretty painful because my hands like to shake and I'm squatting down in a bad position. You can't even see it, it's so dark. God damn, I'm in the void. <laughs> it's okay, you got four seconds left. Three, two, one. There we go. Hopefully that was a good photo. Hopefully. Howdy. Howdy, stranger. Where were you? Uh, I went down to the bench for the long exposure. Thought to do it. Honestly, got it. Oh wait, no, it's frozen. Get off the light.